Hey, what's up? Welcome back on my channel. So today's video um, has been planned since two months at least, since I uh, put out the last video on the Chewy. So I'm going to show you today how you can power and charge your Chewy Labbook Pro with a power bank. Um, so it's really easy. I'm not going to turn around. The only thing you do, we will need is, so you need two things, of course. You need a power bank, which one uh, support power delivery. The power delivery thing will allow you to get 12 volt at 24 watt. And this is the, the main thing you need, right? It's 12 volt. So you need a power bank that is, power bank that is capable to, to deliver um, 12 volt through the, the power delivery type C. It's not the case of every power bank. I made the mistake of buying this Hanker one. This is the PowerCore Plus which uh, support 45 watt outputs of its uh, USB type uh, type C power delivery but unfortunately it only outputs um, 5, 9 and 15 and 12 and, uh, and 20 volts it doesn't output 12 volts so it's kind of it's not gonna fit the requirement of the Chewy Labbook Pro you can charge it through 5 volts but I think that it's gonna damage the Chewy so don't buy this one instead get this one this is the Rave Power um, 26 80 milliamps uh, portable charger. It's a Type C with, with which got power delivery. Um, but th this one only outputs 30 watts, but it is capable of 5, 9, 12, 15, and 20. So it's not written on the specification in there. You only have 5, 9, 15, and 20, but it's capable of doing 12 volts. Uh, the other thing you need is a uh, power delivery triggering device so it's a little, little thing like this that you can also buy on aliexpress like the the whole uh, the other quick charge type c that i've shown on the last video so um, it cost around three three bucks something like that and to use those you take the type c type c put it in the power delivery and then you just plug into this so it's gonna light up um, all right. So when you when you use it for the first time, then there is multiple colors with a button in there. So you can just push the button, and we will change the colors. The colors correspond to a voltage that you want. If you choose red, it's going to be five volt. It's yellow. It's nine. Twelve. It's green. Blue is fifteen, and that's it. There's normally another one. Yeah. It's the darker blue, which is 20. Okay, so sometimes it, it just resets because um, I don't know there's some signal send and the battery is very low, so I'm gonna do it very fast. So if I'm just selecting the green for 12 volt, then I just plug my USB in there. I'm gonna have 12 volt output from that, and I'm gonna be able to charge the Chewy Labbook Pro with it. So I've been doing the test. This one is a 26,000 h milliamp um, battery. Um, it took me three hours to fully charge the Chewy and it seems to completely discharge this battery too. So expect around 80% of the, the power bank to charge the Chewy completely in three hours. Alright, so that's just simple. The only thing you need is a power delivery with minimum 30 watt output that deliver 12 volts. It's the, the main requirement it's you have to choose type C delivery power bank that output 12 volts you need then a power delivery uh, trigger device and and that's it and uh, I'm just gonna show you how you can uh, set up this thing to say to the power bank hey I always want 12 volts when you plug me in so you just have to push the button then you plug it into it it's gonna blink like this release it and then you choose the power that you want the ten, the voltage that you want if you want 12 volt you just select 10 volt 12 volt if you select um, uh, the white it's gonna set to the, um, the selection it means that you can just by pressing the button you can choose the voltage you want and if you put to this one the purple blue one it's gonna set the maximum voltage which corresponds to blue at 20 volt so I'm gonna choose now 12 volt. I push it until it uh, it just light off and plug plug it again, and it's now always on 12 volt. 
and I just have to plug that and it's gonna charge my Chewy. Now if I just unplug the power bank, I plug it to the power bank, I'm charging the Chewy. Nothing else to do. Easy. And then you go for your travel or whatever you want to do. Okay, so just to remind, uh, three hours for charging with the power bank and it's gonna pretty discharge uh, all your power bank to charge the Chewy. So, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of loss in this operation. But hey, you can do it now. That was it. I uh, hope the link saw in the description if you're interested to get that stuff. And that's it. See you guys next time.